Hey, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs here, and I just want to show you this great uh, website that's really helpful for sorting out your your tags and your SEO and everything in your shop. Because if you're like me, I've been kicking around Etsy for a very long time, and I had quite a lot of listings already set up before I had any idea about SEO. So. That meant once I'd learned, it felt like such a mammoth task, task to have to go back through all my old listings and make them better one at a time until I found this site, eatsyrank.com. So just before you log into it, make sure that you're logged into your Eatsy shop so the two can connect with each other. You just want to log into it. You can log in through Facebook. You can set up your own a new account for for this website and then it'll ask you to link to your shop so just allow it to link to your shop and then you're good to go so this is the page you come into to start with this is its home page and it has a load of interesting things about itself there but where it starts to get interesting obviously is when you come into your dashboard so when you pop in here Straight away on your dashboard, it gives you some some insight into how your shop's doing already. As you can see, it's telling me how many listings I've got active, um, telling you if you've got some tag issues and things, which obviously I've still got quite quite a lot to work on here. Um, it tells you a bit more about your social media, if you've got this linked in your shop as well, how many hearts, Twitter followers, all this kind of thing. Um, which is handy. We have this little compare tab, which you can add in any other shops if you want to keep track of. I've just got Bully Ben here, which is my mom's shop, so I just want to see how things things change there. And it also compares you to the average on Etsy. So if you look, for example, the average shop has about sixty five listings. Um, how many favors it has. Um, how many favorites is normal for a Facebook like page, Pinterest followers. Um, it just gives you a lot of useful information here. The critique tab, first of all, gives you a nice little check if it's happy here. It's just looking and comparing you to average. So it's saying if you've got more than average, then you're fantastic. You don't need to work on that. It shows you a whole load of the listings with the missing tags because I'm a bit naughty here and got quite a bit of work to do. There's quite a few to scroll through. Oh boy, there's a lot of work to do. And at the bottom, it's given you some idea of how you're comparing with your social media. So you get nice ticks if you're doing good and not so much. So for instance, I need to work on my Pinterest pins. For some reason, it's not connected up to my Instagram just now, but I can sort that out later. And your profile tab, again, this is a really useful page um, because what it's telling you, it's looking into your shop at all the different pages. And on your shop, it can be confusing to remember to set up all the bits that you need. So the fantastic thing about this is if any of these you haven't got, all you have to do is click the edit button and it will take you to the page in your shop that you need to update this data for. So if we check, I've been doing good because I've been working here, so I've got all full ticks. But like I say, it's fantastic. It's you can, If you don't have an announcement set up, you can straight away go put your announcement, connect to all your social media, your blogs, your website and everything. And it obviously just helps people when they're in their shop stay connected with everything else. Um, your policies, you can get everything here. And then let's head into the listings tab. So to start with our summary, this is nice, easy, everything in one place. You get to keep a track on how you're doing and improving your shop. So when I first found this place, my listing, my, my grade they gave me was a C, so I've obviously improved a bit there. Um, again, tells you how many views, hearts, how much you actually have, how much money you would have in stock if you sold everything, which is awesome to know. Um, and it also tells you 
the not so good bits that I've got some tags and images to deal with. So we look at the actual grades tab. And we see now this this is my favorite bit. This is this is the most important bit I find. So what we're gonna have a look. Now if you if you look here, we've got high, medium, and low. This is really important to look at because it's telling you tags that you use, how many people on each C also have items with these tags. So it gives you an idea of competitive competitiveness now you might want some high tags they have a lot of competition but if you can get yourself up there in the search you know then that's a really fantastic thing because they might have a lot of competition but they're going to have a lot of people searching for them as well and then where we've got low this is also good to have these because there's less results there's less people with these tags so it might be easier to get onto the front page so although there's less people likely to be looking for these tags when they do they're more likely to find you so it's good to focus a bit on these now what is really good here this brings up your listings and it gives it an audit so we can see here what grade each of your listings has got this is totally useful you can just see at a glance which which of your listings you've done well on, which not so much possibly. So I'm just looking down. We're just, and the great thing is, so the good thing here is we can click on any of them to get a more detailed report. So I'm just going to nip into this, my Great Dane sculpture, and click on the listing audit. And this is going to take you to a more detailed page, which is so useful. It tells you a whole load of information on it. Now, this is a fairly new listing for me, so it's it's not had that much visits or anything else. I've not pushed it. I just put it up and left it, to be honest. So it tells you how many sales or whatever else, um, how many views, what the visibility, which, as you can see, it's how well daily views compared to other shops. So still above average at 0.3 views a day. And this gives you some ideas of where it's getting its idea for the rank for. So the title, it's looking for at least 60 characters long and also to include your keywords and everything. Now, I will get into a video later on about how to write good titles and tags and everything. But this really does, does help just looking to say, OK, HC Rank's happy with what I've done here. Again, description. You want a nice long description. But also, you want to make sure in that description you're including the important tags, you know, the keywords that you want Etsy and Google to spot. Tags, again, all it's asking for here is to make sure that you use all 13. There's no point in using less. And commas in the titles, I don't tend to use commas in the titles, but it is checking that just to make sure you've got useful grammar so that Google and Etsy can actually understand what you're saying. And then we have this nice little list of all our tags and it ranks them to make sure you know, to explain how well they're doing. Now what you're wanting is at least two or three VIP tags in any any given listing. These VIP tags, what they are, it just means that you have completely optimize them um, for in that listing so to to optimize them what it means is you've used them in the title you've used them and you've used the exact tags in the title in the description it's not just in the title but it's at the beginning of the title and it's at the beginning of the description so in this listing you can see I've got five optimized tags, five VIP tags, and also they're a good mixture of low competition and medium competition. And I actually went and had a check on Etsy and searched for all these, and fantastically enough, I've got them all on the front page. So although this we get this listing hasn't had that much actual views yet, certainly if someone's looking for any one of these type of tags, custom Great Dane or Great Dane art, 
then there's a really good chance that my listings are going to be seen. And because this listing is very relevant for Great Danes as well, then hopefully that the people, when they see that on the front page, they're more likely to be happy looking in and going, OK, we'll give that a click. We've also, if you look, I've got some red flags here. This is just saying that my, my tags are too broad. And very true, I have to go away and work on this because these single word tags are absolutely no use at all. Um, for instance, using the tag gift, totally pointless because the chance for me of someone searching just for the word gift well, there's little chance of me getting anywhere near the front page. But even if I was on the front page, if they searched for the word gift, the chances that I'm actually wanting what I'm making is pretty low. So I really should go in and sort that out. That's that's a waste of a tag, to be honest. Now, you have buttons here to go and edit your listing. So if you see these things and go, oh, I don't like this, you click that and it'll take you straight into your shop so you can edit that listing. And I'm just going back so that I can show you one of my less good listings. Let's find one. I've been too good. There's some good ones here. Um, so let's have a look at this little dog. He only gets the C rank, so let's see what's wrong with him which even though he's only getting a C rank, if we have a look, well, I've had six sales from this, this guy. He's got quite a few views and hearts. He's 95% more visible than normal people's uh, listings, which just equates to three views a day. Most listings don't get many views a day. So let's see what they're not happy with. For starters, I have messed up. I, it's saying I have used commas in the title. Have I? Let's have a look. Uh, I see what I've done. I've ran two words together. So that, yes, there we go. I have a comma without a space. So that needs fixed immediately. Um, let's see what else is a problem. Um, I've actually got four VIP, um, four VIP tags. So actually, the only real problem seems to be that one thing. So I'll immediately click on the listings, and that takes me to here. I'm just going to edit it, and all I need to do is put a space in here, and then publish it now it usually takes a wee while to get back to ET rank but we'll see if we refresh the data if they're happier with that it can take a wee while because it's going through quite a lot of data um, but let's let's see if they're happier with that Ooh, I might have to cut this in post-production. Okay, so it's taking us straight back to the dashboard. So I want to go to my grades again. Where is that little dog? There he is. Okay, so now I've come back to my listings and scroll down to this little dog and immediately he's straight back in with an A listing. So it's as simple as that. As I say, I find this the most important page. You can work on all of your listings from here and it's so useful. You could also, if you just wanted to focus in, there's, there's tabs for missing tags and that'll bring you to your items that need some extra tags 
or missing images and you can work on them, you can fix them each individually as well. Let's have a look at some of the other tools. Uh, most important tool here is the rank checker. So we're going to pop in any phrase you can think of. So we're going to say Great Dane Art and I want to look in my shop in any location and let's have a quick search and see what this is going to pick up for us because if you remember this is one of the the keywords that was in my my a-listed great dane listing so what this does is it pulls up and it says i have one listing and it's showing up on page four now the reason for that when I said it showed I can see it on page one on my when I searched on Etsy the reason it shows up on page one with me but on this search it's showing up on page four is that I'm in the UK so when I search, it skews shops in the UK a little bit more, so I get a little bit of a boost. So people in the UK will see my item on page one, whereas in the rest of the world, it's on page four. But I'm still pretty, ha pretty happy with that because it's a fairly broad term. But what this gives you that's so useful is it's showing for everyone who's using the tags Great Dane Art, it gives you some idea of other tags that they're using and you could maybe think of if they're useful tags for yourself to use. So Great Dane Art Print, well that wouldn't be good for me but it might be for someone else. Great Dane Gift, that's a good idea for a tag I might use in the future. Uh, equally something like Dog, I wouldn't want to use that as a, as a tag. And it also shows you some of the shops that are doing best with that and some of the, the ranking from Etsy rank on that. But there's I'll I'll let you have a search and find out everything else that you like on Etsy rank. But it is completely a powerful tool and I would say the listings and then the grades page is the most useful tool, useful page, just for working on little bits of your shop at a time. It's a great way to take that task down from being a monumentally difficult task of fixing hundreds and hundreds of listings to you can just go into this every day and change one listing and your rank will improve over time. And this is just the easiest way to sort out your SEO in one go. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial at all, uh, please give us a like and subscribe if you're interested in more tutorials like this. I'll be putting up tutorial. I'll be putting up tutorials on Etsy um, every. I'll I'll put up tutorials on Etsy every Monday. Thanks for watching.